What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to InfraMovies. Well, I am uh, back with a couple of, of, of uh, little movie reviews, uh, and that is um, two movies that I that were uh, first time watches from my uh, physical uh, media collection, two Blu rays. And uh, just thought that I'd just, you know, toss this video out there. And, and if I continue to, because I have like two big piles of movies of it that that would be first time watches and just thought that i'd just get out my uh my my two cents do a little reviews for them and let you know what i what i thought about the uh about the movies and uh so we have two here for you and uh the first one is uh from uh, uh it's like 80 Let's see here, 80, I think it was like 87 or so, I want to say. And that is a release from uh, Full Moon uh, Features, and I actually got this copy at a pawn shop uh, when I was down in uh, Houston uh, over, the, uh, over the holidays. Uh, but this is... Uh, Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball uh, Bolorama. There's a big old sticker right there, but uh, but uh, this is um, this is kind of like a uh, a uh, college uh, college movie type uh, of uh, of scenario where these uh, three three college guys just d decide to go. And at first, um, they're going to a sorority uh, house um, where they're doing the uh, the um, pledges, where they where where they're pledging into two new uh, sorority members. And so these three guys are just like, "Hey, let's go in there because they're probably you know walking around naked and all of that and doing you know." you know, crazy sorted type stuff. So, so they do eventually go in there and, and, uh, and there's a lot of like, I don't know, there's a lot of like, like ass slapping with like paddles and then, and then, uh, some, some whipped cream sequences and, and, and the two, the two, uh, pledges of it eventually like by going to the, uh, the shower. So you see plenty of, you know, TNA and, and full frontal and and uh, and and whatnot, but anyways, um, they eventually get caught and they're all like, uh, we got to figure out. Uh, the sorority sisters are like, we got to figure out what we're gonna do with these three guys. Uh, and uh, by the way, these three guys were kind of funny. They 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 had me, you know, laughing at them a a, a couple times, a few times, and um, so they're all like, well. We want you to go to a bowling alley, and we want you to steal uh, a uh, uh, a bowling show for you. Uh, that that'll be that'll be part of uh, part of the pledges. Um, what they have to do, and uh, so they're like, oh, okay. So the so the two pledges, and the and the and the three guys go to this bowling alley. Middle of the night, gonna go steal a trophy, um, but then uh, but then. The three sisters were like, "Well, um, you know, we know, we know security cameras around this around this mall that was also attached to the bowling alley. So then they're so so they're like, we're gonna we're gonna spy on them. We're gonna we're gonna kind of uh, uh, you know you know mess with them and stuff like that. Well, eventually they get to the bowling alley and and they uh, they find this really big big bowling trophy." Uh, and they, the trophy, like, it opens up, and it reveals that there was, like, an imp creature, a little demon, inside the trophy, <laughs> and, uh, it starts to, it starts to grant them, them all wishes and, and what, and whatnot, uh, and then just, shit just starts to hit the fan, and, and, uh, you know, horrors pursue uh, 80s cheesy horrors pursue and uh 
actually, I somewhat enjoyed this. Uh, this is very, uh, nowadays, this is a, um, uh, a cult classic considered uh, across fans. Uh, and um, the original title of this was The Imp, by, by the way, so, uh, and then, and then it was the, uh, um, and then they eventually did a fan uh, contest, and they made it like the, like the bitchiest, or, or, or bitching sorority babes, um, uh, in this, in, in the slime ball, ballorama. Um, so, uh, there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of TNA in here, uh, with the college chicks and, and, and whatnot. Uh, there's a lot of humor, some good, some decent death sequences, uh, which actually include, uh, a character, um, getting, uh, beheaded, and they eventually, it's a bowling alley, so they uh they they use the the uh the head as a uh as a bowling ball and uh throw it down the bowling alley so uh um <laughs> uh, but my one negative here is that it took me a little while to to uh to get used to the to the imp creature uh, of course that was a that was a pretty much like a puppet uh and uh it took a while, but uh, but eventually I was I was okay with that, with that imp, and uh, but um, anyways, I would give it like a strong like four out of a five. I actually had a really good time with it, and like I said, this is from a uh, Full Moon Features, uh, and so it's a boutique title here. Um, but I got it really cheap down in Houston, so so that's why I, I, I own it. And uh, this this baby is like, I don't know if it's like out of print, but it's going for like $30, $35 or whatever. So and I only got it for like, I don't know, it was like a quarter. <laughs> so, alright, so that's the first one. Alright, and then the second one was, uh, was one that I've had in my collection for... for uh, a couple years now and I just kept on just you know pushing it off pushing it off and and uh, there was like a lot of like bad reviews for it uh, and I was like well, it's, it's a it's a chick flick you know it's, it's one of those uh, you know somebody's sick and and uh, you know they have to deal with it uh, but that was um, everything everything so everything everything is all about this uh, this young a uh, woman who's like you know 17 turning 18 uh she's been she's been living in her house uh uh with her mom uh, since she was like one uh and and she could not like leave the house they have a like their entrance their their uh, their their front door is a whole like you know like like a space station type of type of lockdown where they get rid of all the oxygen and they and they you know it's a big sanitized type room and uh, scenario and very few people can come in and very few few people you know obviously can come in and come out um it's mostly just like a, a nurse and like one friend that shows up every once in a while but uh anyways um what her problem is is that pretty much she is allergic to pretty much everything um and uh, and so she is she is stuck uh reading books um uh reading books doing short little reviews online and uh and passing the time that way watching really old movies uh like like she watched uh moonstruck um and uh just 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 passing normal time uh, and homeschooling and whatnot. She also, she also does uh, architect uh, on a, on a little little um, tiny little uh, buildings like like diners and and you know whatnot that she that she builds. Uh, and uh, 
she eventually sees this new guy next door uh comes and, and moves in and uh right away this dude's like you know like checking her out of the window like hey i'm gonna get with that uh and uh but but then at the same time she's like um i'm stuck in this house uh and uh they they eventually uh, communicate through uh through uh exchanging uh, cell phone numbers and one cool little aspect was was when they were um when they would be texting each other uh they would actually film film it like they were sitting uh sitting next to each other so their interactions were like you know them basically you know sitting in the same room together uh and then uh eventually uh, eventually the nurse uh, does a, does a no-no uh, and uh, and says oh, I'm gonna invite him in you guys got to keep your distance this was pre social distancing you could say you got to keep your distance and uh, and we'll see we'll see what happens uh, and then I potentially I don't want to really spoil the rest of the movie um, but uh, but yeah <laughs> anyways um this was some like okay performances um nothing to write home about uh amanda lee uh steenberg is was in the i believe it was like the hate the hate you take or something like that the hate hate you give or I forgot what it's called uh she was also i think in a few of the hunger games movies and all that uh and um but this also kind of reminded me of in um 2018 bella thorne uh was in a movie called midnight sun but she was actually allergic to the sun so she couldn't go outside uh, because she was allergic to the sun so that's well, this movie kind of reminded me of, um, but, uh, but anyways, um, at first I was like, I'm going to give this like a solid, like three out of five, but then I could kind of see, uh, why people, um, kind of didn't really like this movie too much. Uh, and so I'm going to go with like a high, like two out of five. Um, it's not the, it's not the best when it comes to, um, you know, you know, scenarios where, where somebody is sick and and there and it becomes like a romance i think recently one of the most one of the better ones of that is uh is uh, uh five feet apart so um i i generally liked uh that type of scenario uh, so so yeah so two out of five uh it's it's uh yeah, you don't really need to watch this one, uh, but I actually do recommend this. Uh, I think this is playing on Shutter right now, uh, and so if you have that uh, for uh, for uh, streaming, uh, Sorority Babes uh, in the Slam Slam Ball Ball Rain. Well, this is also really short. This is only like an hour and sixteen minutes, not counting the end credits. Uh, this one's about a, a ninety minutes or so. Um, so I would say watch this one, uh, Sorority Babes, in the slime ball, bolorama over uh, everything, everything. So, all right, there you go. Just a uh, quick uh, couple of uh, movie reviews here based off of uh, movies from my physical media collection that I haven't seen yet. Uh, and now I can cross those off the uh, little list there. Um, so, anyways. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video for, for the heck of it, dislike it if you want to, comment down below if you've seen uh, either of these two movies. Most likely you've seen Everything Everything, uh, which would be more of the um, uh, more popular uh, interest. Uh, but uh, anyways, um, we'll, uh, we'll see what I watch next. And uh, if I get good... Um, Good views and good and good traffic on these uh, reviews. Um, I'll I'll continue with this. But uh, anyways, uh, take care everybody and have a good week. All right, bye bye.